Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits with another Inkbound Daily. Today is the solo daily for October 7th, and we will be playing Obelisk going from Vengewood into Radiant Market, and then up against Runestone. Um, it looks like we have Icarus Pot, so we have the potential for a lot of money, but um, Obelisk uh, struggles a lot to kill pots. So, the odds of us being able to take down two pots... Very unlikely. We have Paper Tigers in play, and I don't know. I think that of all the classes, Obelisk definitely struggles the most with Paper Tigers. Obviously, we like the 50% damage multiplier, but uh, the problem is, is that Obelisk's damage per turn, generally speaking, is incredibly low, and enemies dealing double damage to you means that the odds of you outscaling that damage with shielding, which is what Obelisk tries to do with Augs and all that, uh, highly unlikely. So your sort of benefit of, okay, I'm kind of like one of the best shielders in the game, so I can afford a little bit more breakage than other classes, but in turn, like I have a little bit less damage than everybody else does. It uh, it completely goes out the window. You you lose. You don't gain as much from the fifty percent damage, and you lose more because everyone else is usually able to just kill everything, and you can't. So, makes it a little bit rough. Our daily quest is gain spiked. That's kind of rough. Uh, like even if we get a green og for plus one spike gain on like iron clap. That's still going to be very rough for us to get. If we have Essence of Quillian on our trinket, that's going to make that a lot easier. And then, of course, as always, healing pools until they fix it. Uh, we don't care. You never heal at a shop. Like, that's your entire run's budget just to heal, like, 10 HP. I'm not going to spend my entire run's budget to heal 3 HP. Pass key of the future. Um, I actually, like, re <laughs> I really like this, uh, this trinket. It's probably one of my favorite. Um, I think that, uh, besides Quicken, Smoke Bomb and Grasp are two of the, I would be willing to say, top five best skills in the game. Like, skills, as in, like, even, like, class skills. Like, they're incredibly good. And so, being able to reduce their cooldowns permanently by one, which is a green aug, uh, just because reasons? Because you were using them? Oh, uh, that's pretty good. It's a little harder for us to make sure that we hit that uh, cooldown reduction at a point to where it's important because we're on a timer, we have less fights. Otherwise, it's very easy to get this to pop when you, uh, before you even get to the book one boss, especially if you get lucky and your second binding is one of the other ones. Just got doing a. Uh, a duo daily with uh, Ren, who we um, was the person that we stole that uh, that one daily seed. I think earlier this week, last week. I don't know which day it was, but um, actually had Obelisk with Paskey of the Future, Smoke Bomb into Quicken made me a very good tank, and so it was kind of nice. And it, due to the fact that we had two bindings that count for this, we were able to get it pretty quickly. It was like mid-book two. Now, as we go into here, uh, before they left, Ren also told me like a little bit of spoilers as far as this daily. Just to put it out there, even though we did follow one of their seeds to, you know, illustrate, like, exactly how in tune the run seeds are. I don't actually like spoilers, <laughs> like, at all. Like, uh, part of, um, you know, the, the enjoyment of dailies for me is not only, like, figuring out what works and um, stuff like that. And I think that dailies are a very good uh, opportunity for that. It's uh, also figuring out how to navigate, like, the RNG. And... Uh, their heart was in the right place, obviously, but um, 
they told me that probably the best thing that we can actually do is to take future Willer here. And I mean, I'm inclined to believe them. They're a capital G gamer. Um, on your turn, gain two stacks of spikes. Okay, well, let's just consider that we're going for the legendary quest. We have one turn, fight one. We have three turns, four turns? No, three turns. I don't even freaking know anymore. I think it's three turns on fight two. So that's four. Boss allows us to have five. That's ten. And then we get one more during book two. So now we're at 19. Um, this will not even give us half of our... Like, it'll give us barely half of our um, spike stacks. Like, barely. Barely. So then, if we do not get another source of spikes, we're kind of scuffed. The other thing about Rosy Thorn is that it really does not help our fight one at all, especially when there's paper tigers in play. I feel like this legendary quest is a bait. Um, it'd be nice if we had access to needles, because then we'd get that for free. But um, another thing is, is that we can't really get an early legendary without doing our run quest. So... I feel like this this is trying to kill people. And again, at that point, I'm judging by myself. All Ren told me is that I should take Future Willer and uh, Harpoon in the first draft. Which, if Harpoon is in the first draft, in, uh, regardless of character, uh, you guys already know I'm going to grab that anyway. So that one's no harm, no foul. But even like thinking uh, what I would like to say is um, rationally about Rosie Thorn. I don't think that it's going to be good for us. So I'm unsure that I would do that anyways. Because Rosy Thorn is only going to give us 20 damage, right? We're going to be able to get spikes and whatever the big Chungus enemy is trying to hit us, which is going to hit us for double damage, is only going to take two spikes worth. So then we have Paper Tigers, so they're going to take 30 damage. Um... Again, Obelisk doesn't have damage. We're likely not going to be missing lethal by 30 damage. So it does make sense that Future Willer would be something that we would take here. Uh, scattered Samples is also pretty good. It's one will per fight. Um, could make a difference during your bossing. But of these options here, this sort of just like makes sense. I suppose in order to like completely like cleanse the idea of that uh, that hint I was given, we're actually just gonna reroll here. Uh, Cultivated harmonies is actually much better than future, because <laughs> that's uh, one will a turn every turn, forever. Um, yeah, I'll take cultivated harmonies. Okay. Um. Broad Iron Clap. Broad Iron Clap makes it so that our Iron Clap hits more things, obviously, but that's kind of important because... I don't know. Like, is that really that good? I could see a Critical Shield Bash here. Uh, negative 1 cooldown, negative 1 will. Maybe we get something like Battering Ram. Um, and then we could use that in order to... Like, deal some decent damage but that's a late game strategy that's really not going to help our fight one and we're already going to lose one turn on fight one we need to make sure we don't lose a second turn on fight one massive seismic slam also helps us versus lusk the boss of vengewood it is actually vengewood this time so <laughs> uh that helps uh yeah it might honestly be that We'll go ahead, we'll take Massive Seismic. I'm honestly, like, pretty concerned about this run here. That's a barrier potion that we don't, we really can't do anything with that. Do we want money? We honestly might not want money. Uh, what are we going to buy for the boss? We should be buying stuff for the boss. I'm going to be crazy. I'm honestly going to take this 
Tarnish Vault here. I will take the damage. Uh, we can actually do this. Just because we rolled a crit. That's incredible. Can we actually kill you? <laughs> okay, hold on. We have uh, four will. Seismic Slam is actually better than us autoing. Yeah, we got you. Okay. On being hit. Inflict five stacks of bleed. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, braced belt is damage. Is the only thing that I'm looking at here. I want to buy. God, I think it's braced belt here. I don't really agree with it. Line share is fine. Um, it's just bad versus runestone. If we reroll here, we're putting ourselves in a serious world of hurt as far as our budget for the first shop. So I think we have to take Braced Belt. Lion Share, however, is very good versus Lusk, and we're trying to figure out how we deal with that. I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Life's scary. Of these things here, give me some spike damage. We might find it. Hardened Iron Clap is, like, pretty huge for us. I think we definitely take that. Since we um, knew ahead of time that there's going to be Harpoon in this draft here, it's possible that the correct move was to come up here and grab it first. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Grasp is like the best... I might say the best skill in the game. It's probably not that. But, uh, yeah, I'm obviously going to take it. Do we need a green aug? Green aug could definitely get us spikes. And so if we start spamming iron clap, could actually do something for us. Otherwise, it might be stance here. Um... <sighs> I could see it being... Like, we desperately need damage. <laughs> if it's physical power or something like that, two physical power would go a long way for us right now. Um, Trying to think of the other greens that we have access to. Negative one CDR is obviously good. Um, one shield on hit is kind of a waste on seismic slam in this mod, from my, in my opinion. It would really be spiked. That's not going to help us kill a money pot. We'll take some stats. We'll go ahead and we'll eat this. Definitely appreciate it. Phys that is... Whew. Oh baby. Okay, now we're in business. It's very sad to see that next to a plus 8 max HP. Again, getting some extra max HP, especially during um, Paper Tigers, is very nice to secure our health requirement at the end of the game. Uh, take me to the vault. I'm not sure that I need to reroll stuff. Two Tangled Quills. Um, panic. Huge panic. This is negative one due to Cultivate. Okay, why am I dealing... Oh, it's a... There's a bit there. I was like, how am I one-shotting a money pot? I don't have damage. <laughs> uh, we're not one-shotting a money, a money pot. Um... 
almost said money shot. Is that going to get me banned on YouTube? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to hook. We're going to do this. Actually, I lied. Flask of Serendipity. It takes our uh, drafted bindings off cooldown, because of course it does. And I want to pull you up here into the mix. I don't really care about killing all these bits. We're about to use like a seismic slam or something like that, and that's going to do a lot of damage. We do want to save as much of our movement as possible though, because we are going to have to position back into here. Can I like hit you though, little tingle guy? There we go. Okay. Yeah, this looks great. <laughs> guess we won't have to reposition anyways we're gonna go ahead we'll take this and we're gonna try and scooch back as much as possible like I don't think we're gonna get anywhere near this other money pot but um, yeah that was good positioning and bug exploiting in order to get some work done there now we've got no abilities for this part though which is a little monkey giga featuring robert downey jr i don't think i'm going to need access to this again famous last words so i think i can do something like this and we're not going to kill this pot so, is it actually better for me to be doing something like this when I can't escape anymore? Yeah, I won't be able to escape. I will take damage. I guess I kind of, like, scuffed that one up. I should have uh, iron clapped a little bit while I was up there. And let's just get another HP threshold there so we get a couple more quills. Also, I don't know why I thought that I wasn't going to have money. I forgot that there was Icarus Ponce, I guess. Oh, hold up. We like to see it. Okay. I'm collecting an orb gained for Spiked. They really want me to freaking go for this, don't they? Survivor's Bonsai actually looks like one of the best things here. The only reason why I would look at something like Spear of the Gods is because, um, what am I trying to say? Um, uh, Runestone. Runestone really wants you to have movement, and we ain't got no movement. So, that movement there is actually quite tantalizing. Otherwise, chances are we're going to get at least one, maybe two Survivor's Bonsai uh, especially if Nim is up, we're probably going to get bopped by Nim a little bit. And so now Survivor's Bonsai is basically a uh, better training way because we could also potentially, again, take enough to up it some more. I'm, I'm feeling good about that. I'm willing to take that. Font of Wisdom. Wang. Is it crit? It can't be crit. We usually have a little bit more crit than this if the seed wants us to crit. Maybe it's just more physical power? Days in Grasp? Eh. Shielding Iron Clap. It's appreciated, but... I don't know. We might just re-roll here. There we go. I don't really appreciate it, but I'm willing to put one stack of spiked on iron clap. See where that takes us. So if you haven't noticed, I'm basically taking a gambit here that everybody who goes for gain spikes is going to die. 
Maybe that's not a, <laughs> a correct way to say that, but you know, I, I think that it's a bait legendary. I think everyone's going to miss it. Um, I think that obviously there will be a way to get it, but I don't know, man. Pulsar belt. That's something, I guess. Um, we could take a Verdant Seed. That doesn't really... That doesn't do it for me. We're re-rolling. Powder Monkey isn't bad. These guys are likely to be off cooldown due to the fact that we have um, Passkey of the Future. But... Maybe it's another reroll here. Is Powder Monkey me settling? You know, it honestly might be. Let's reroll it. <laughs> Faulty Flask isn't bad, especially if we're going with Survivor's Bonsai. I guess I'll pick that up, but it's notably not damage. I know that um, Faulty Flask is not as good as it once was. We're not going to make all of our health back, but it helps. You guys have a hundred. We actually just beat you with Seismic. It's kind of funny. I am, however, noticing our distinct lack of damage going into Nim here. Like, we have a source of spiked, but it's really not great. Okay, give me that. Hit you with this. Take one of those for free. Give me a Mercurial. Thank you very much. I guess I didn't need that. I didn't realize that we <laughs> we did that much damage. Oh no. Uh, might as well clap you just so that we have more spikes for next turn. And now we're kind of in a way... That solves that turn... Yeah, my guess is that um, the future Willer that uh, Ren was talking about was solely to phase this boss in two. The fact that we took three turns to phase it isn't very good. I don't think I need to explain that. Alright. Um, this is free, but I don't want it on cooldown. If this was our first uh, skill, then Green Aug would probably have been considerably better. Because then we could have gone for something like... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to miss this by at least one turn here. We're fine taking this damage, though. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, bleed on smoke bomb would have definitely like solved a lot of problems for us. Am I seriously going to lose? I'm going to lose two turns. 
That's terrible. Our damage is ass. Okay, evading the, um... Evading the legendary is now not worth it. <laughs> we didn't get, um... Shell, which is the other source of, uh... Spikes. Maybe we go into slam, just try and scale our auto, but if we want... Again, if we want to scale our auto, why wouldn't we just want our auto to do more damage? That's my question to you. And there's another crush, so we crush every time now, too. Do we need Devastating Smoke Bomb? That's an honest question. Who's our second boss again? Radiant Market? To be honest, maybe. We've got 8 physical power? That's a lot of damage. Otherwise, basically just putting another... It wouldn't be another 50 damage, but we're crushing every time that we iron clap something. It actually ends up being somewhere around like plus 15 damage. Base. Of course, we have uh, damage scaling there. So it's plus 30 damage if you count our power right now. Plus 30 damage to our iron clap or like plus a crap ton of damage to our smoke bomb. Which uh, is shouldn't be reduced cooldown yet, but it will. We won't have access to green augs unless we hit a binding empowerment to reduce its cooldown again. If it was on like a two turn cooldown, oh my god, smoke bomb. Oh my god. I think I'm doing it. Because how are we going to kill book two money pots? I would like to fully heal. Thank you very much. Uh, our survivor bonsai is at plus three. That was not the intention of that fight at all. Um, I think... I want to say it's too late for crit. We'll just keep scaling physical power to the moon. Man, I'm really upset about losing two turns on Lusk. We got a couple of lucky crits, too. Maybe there was some ordering that we did in there. Really, it was the fact that we just couldn't phase them. We're good on glyphs. We never have to take glyphs again, so let's just start getting some stuff that actually gives us damage. Lucky horseshoe crab. That's pretty good. That's not really going to help us in this fight, but it'd be nice to have for the captor fight. You know, a longer fight. So if that's the case, we want to try and use this barrier potion. Good lord, you are a chungus. 180, 250. Hmm. Okay, game. We generally speaking want to use this off cooldown. Uh, actually, is this better than impulse now? Like, barely. It's barely better than Impulse. It might actually not be. I don't think it is. So let's farm some spikes. <laughs> and your toasts. I actually think... That crush is doing a lot of work for us. And we would really... Oh, we got the negative CDR. We're fine. I was going to say, we definitely want to farm that a bit. Um, I don't think that we use Hammer of the Broken Rail. We are going to get hit during the Inferno fight. I like the idea of Ringleader's Hat. 
It's also kind of hard not to get hit during the captor fight, except on uh, turn one. So that's another will. Another will means that we earn more spikes. Eh, we crush more, which is currently our damage. So that's probably what we're going for. I'm also seeing, by the way, if you guys aren't, we were offered a faulty flask. I think this was re-rolling twice, but Poison Vapors was in the first draft. Faulty Flask. Mobius Vine. I'm just saying. That's pretty freaking good. I'll take a Ringleader's Hat. The shielding is... Actually... Yeah. Let's re-roll this. Shocking Core Cap, why do you do this to me? <laughs> Can I afford to reroll one more time? I think I can. Plus 50 crush damage. <sighs> oh. Unearth Relic is also potentially good. We don't really gain shield a lot, but we have impulse, right? Um, I'm not sure that that's it. But I can get behind Stonecutter's tools. Because that's another 100 damage every time that we use Impulse twice. I'm about that. Give me even more physical... Th I told you. We are taking this to the moon. You cannot stop me. Crushing Seismic Slam. Where was this shit when we needed it? So... This one's going to be weird. This might be Avalanche. We don't have any CDR in kit. Earthquake deals a lot of damage. It also... This makes it so that we don't scale it off of our physical power. But... This adds another 2 crush. And then we can get some extra damage off of the Frostbite. That's what I'm looking at here. So this is basically guarantee crush... And a little bit of extra damage. We don't really scale Frostbite. We were offered Frost Flame. That's an interesting idea. It might still be Earthquake. The thing is, is that we won't get to use Earthquake enough for me to be like, yeah, we're definitely getting our worth out of this. But it's 250 base. Based on what? This could be a reroll. Yeah, honestly. I hate these. <laughs> I absolutely hate these. Um, vulnerable is only going to increase our damage by 33%. Maybe that's what we need. Because that's still going to go into our crush. Otherwise, turning this skill into an AoE when we already have Smoke Bomb? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. God. And this might just lock us out of Harpoon later. That's going to make me the saddest. Um, I think we're good on stats. Let's get a green aug. I would really love to reduce the cooldown on lore right now. <laughs> like, please. Let's not reduce cooldown on lore. Uh, quick and smoke bomb, bringing this down to two is probably, like, definitely the play. If we can get AoE, that's huge. Um, I'm going to assume that we're actually going to kill two money pots again. And so our glyphs are fine. We could technically re-roll this. But there's a lot of shitty greens that we can get that I would rather not see. But obviously I would really like to see negative cooldown here. But maybe having access to smoke bomb every turn is worth this having a cooldown of 5. I don't think that's the case. Like a 5 cooldown, so shit. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna do it. 
we're going to take the negative one cooldown on Smoke Bomb. I don't like it, but we're going to do it. We can take another Heroic Bolt. Again, we are gambling on the fact that we are going to be able to kill uh, two Money Pots here. If we are not able to do that, it will be sad days all around. Let's actually drop that. Uh, spawn me all the way up here. I don't like how you're all the way over there. Spawning up here was a mistake. Remind uh, future bits never to do this again. We didn't take Earthquake. I'm starting to think that uh, Iron Clap is like our best skill right now <laughs> by like a country mile. Okay, um... Yeah, standing here was horrendous. We potentially threw our run with that. This is free, so we might as well use it, actually. Do we want to pull anybody in before we do that? Bringing you in here would be great. Thank you. Next. And I'm actually willing to take this damage from this, uh, whatever you want to call him. A shinobi. Okay. I think we managed to fix that. We gotta figure out how to take care of this second guy here, because we have two turns to do that. I think we abandon that other pot. Actually, let's do this. Hmm, no, we're gonna save uh, the Mercurial for... Yeah. Go ahead, do that. Now we can clap. And we can clap again. Clap, clap, clappy hands. I can no longer hit the two of you. That is the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. So do I just chump? I don't... Uh, Jesus Lord bits. Even that, uh, that wiggle didn't get us down there. Okay, we're gonna struggle dealing 2,000 damage in one turn. We need, like, some seriously good damage. Which, thankfully, uh, Survivor's Bonsai is about to gain one extra damage. Orb. certainly frickin' tried with that one. Um, I like Stone Pitch Pipe. Stone Pitch Pipe is used lure more often. Versus Unstave? <sighs> Not really. Give us even more physical damage. I will achieve the great, uh... Negative one base cooldown versus more crush damage. Jesus Christ, look at our crush. We have stone pitch pipe now. I, I'm not actually scared. I'm not scared of lure anymore. Um, God.
we can go ahead and say that maybe Seismic Slam is good now. Also, I didn't realize that it's a good thing we didn't re-roll. I didn't realize that uh, Quicken Grasp was blue. Hmm. We didn't take plus one crush here. Now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> God, um, we're going to believe in stone pitch pipe and we're going to go for the memes. We have more than enough money. Boss isn't going to give us enough to where we can actually like do whatever we want there. Um, we could get a purple here. If we get uh, a spiky boy. I don't know what I expected. Another extra will maybe. <laughs> I don't think that we're going to perfect this. So Ermong's eggs probably not a good idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll take an extra will. So now we are a seven will crush machine. Oh my god. Does magic pixel real? Oh. We got it. I'll be perfectly honest. We're putting this sucker on cooldown because we're going to face you this turn. I said we're going to phase you this turn. I thought that this was going to be a earthquake, mercurial earthquake. It may still be. Yeah, now it's kind of looking like that. Also, Stone Pitch Pipe reducing the cooldown of Lure when it's on cooldown. Or the cost of Lure when it's on cooldown makes me, like, hella sad. I guess the question I gotta ask myself is, is this actually even good? Yeah, it's probably just smoke bomb, honestly. Okay. Slorp. Blorp. Blorp. Battering Ram? Three Crush is pretty good for us right now. Um, it might be Headbutts. It, is there a world where we can actually get 50 stacks of Spiked in one fight? I don't think there is. We can use headbutt maybe twice. Unless we somehow get some sort of miraculous CDR answer. So then we would have to use this thing like 10 times. Yeah, we sort of missed the bill. If we would have taken the orb of metal, 
that would have given us enough spikes at this point to where that's somewhat feasible. Because you gotta assume that, like, every turn, there's an orb. Uh, but we didn't do that, so we're terrible. We're bad at the game, and we're making other people bad at the game, too. Uh, Thunderous Ironclap right now is honestly pretty freaking disgusting. Critical Grass, we have no crit. Like, plus 10 isn't honestly going to do much for us. Maybe it's just Charge Shield Bash making Battering Ram actually worth that 2 will. Now that Impulse is a freaking monster. Um, I can get behind that. I was kind of hoping for global here, to be honest. But, man, Thunderous Ironclap is definitely... It's not good for Runestone. It's the only reason why I'm waffling away from it. But being able to hit somebody with frickin'... It's good. Chances are one of these is going to have their cooldown reduced, so it's air quotes free. I'll take Charge Shield Bash, though. Do we go absolute insano mode and grab another physical power? I'm honestly very concerned about this uh, runestone fight. With uh, paper tigers on and the hands, we can just up and take a lot of damage because reasons. We don't have access to an evasive to evade the, the laser beam hands. Why are you like this? Well, that ain't it. Leave that over for next turn. And I'll be perfectly honest, I want you up here. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with this. Is that the best move? 230. Yes, that is definitely the best move. Might as well pick this up. <laughs> farm a couple more spikes. The futility. Well. And there's armored porcupine. Are you freaking kidding me? Too little too late game. Too little too late. I also think that bone calcifier is too late. Uh, we can afford to... To buy a blue at the shop. So let's go see what they got. Okay, game. Boy. Okay. Devastating smoke. <laughs> what? Huh. That's rough. This heavy iron clap is worth one third of our crush damage. It is pretty close to devastating smoke bomb, especially when we can do it multiple times in a turn. I think that's the move. I think. However, just double devastating smoke bomb every turn. Oh man, that would feel great. I don't think that it's necessary though. So we'll go ahead. Um, We'll take the heavy iron clap. Oh look, sparking battery coil. That'd be kind of neat. 
We can't afford any of that. That's all too rich for our blood. So we can afford to reroll this instead. Twice, in fact. Ink Rito. Cute. Uh, Carnival Candy is only increasing our damage by 33%. Maybe we still enjoy that? The uh, plus 10 movement during the first turn and the plus 1 will isn't terrible. Uh, but we get plus 1 will every turn. Like, I don't know what we would replace that with. Is where I'm at. Brace Belt? I guess I could replace Brace Belt, yeah. Um, I'm going to be crazy, though. And we're pro... Uh... No, let's not get crazy. Go ahead, replace our Brace Belt. We've got a ton of will turn one. We should phase. If we don't phase this turn one, I don't even know how this game works anymore. Verdant Blossom is not worth the buy. Okay, we have a um, Barrier Potion to save us from one Laser Beam. We want to be as high up as possible. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, we even did fight one, and then we got bopped by frickin' uh, Lusk, of all things. Big sad. Honestly, we probably want to use this to move out. So let's get some uh, some of these bad boys in. Use this to... GTFO. I would really like to hit you as well, but I just don't think that our hitbox works like that. Because that would reduce the amount of damage that you're dealing to us. And then we wouldn't have to use this now. So maybe. That means it's this. Like, do I really want to waste this crit? I guess we don't need it. We can, air quotes, waste this crit. Oh, that did not reduce that by anywhere near as much as I thought it was. That was only two. Not worth. We can take it, though. So we will. I think I set the hand up properly for even more um, shenanigans. I'm gonna hit you with this, sucker. That is a phase. So let's just get the frick out of here. Grab our power orb. If we can kill you, he gets hit twice. We can do that. That is within our power. Oh man, the discount double punch. Yeah. Game was very well played. I just. We fell into the seed a little late. I'm still pretty happy with the results. I'm like, that's a disgusting amount of damage. Where was our. Oh, we didn't get the Ron quest, of course. Yes. Okay. I was like, we only lost a thousand points. Why well, am I at 39,150? Yeah. Okay. Maybe pivoted a little too hard away, like. Unlike when it's like spend quillings, the the legendary quest was there in hindsight. <laughs> but I honestly did not think that that was gonna happen at all. Um, so we probably demonstrated a interesting way to take on the seed. Granted, not one that's going to get you a, 
a high score at all. I'd say that this is a moderate score. Anyways, let's see how everybody else did. Hopefully the run was entertaining for you guys, or at least educational. Holy shit, we're still... <laughs> <laughs> We're still third place. Um, Lance up there with the perfect. Okay. Yeah. If uh, we were able to get fight one. Oh, we critted though. That's how we got fight one. That's something to note. So maybe Lance crit too. And then he actually went into the spikes. The only way that I could see it. Like, technically, if you're going spikes, you're willing to take the damage if you also have, um, what is it? That, uh, Survivor's Bonsai. You kind of want to take the damage during, um, Lusk to prime it. So then you just let them hit you? Hmm. I don't know. I'd be interested to see how that goes. But even our, our, our Gearit, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but that's Ren, basically. Um, so they, on their first try, were able to do significantly better than us. Probably didn't get, uh, the negative two turns. Yeah, that's probably, honestly, what they did. They didn't lose two, two turns on Lusk, because they took that future Willer. And then they, um, did the exact same thing that we did. We, uh, they skipped the, the legendary quest. Interesting. Anyways. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And until next time, we will catch you guys around.